Friday rolls around. I hope you're all well. I've just got back from my uh, daily exercise, so a bit warm in here. I hope your uh, COVID situation is improving. Uh, it gives us hope, doesn't it? But unfortunately, when we get lifted out of our restrictions, it makes you wonder how we'll get on, really, because people don't seem to obey the rules, do they? I was reading a story uh, a couple of days ago. A family got together at Christmas, 11 of them. They subsequently all caught COVID, so somebody in the group was carrying, obviously. Two of them have since died. Could have asked yourself if it's worth it. But anyway, COVID, uh, COVID done. Right, well, our situation around here is we've got these things back again. More, uh, more floods. Fortunately, it's only down uh, one minor road at the moment, so that's all right. Just means that if you want to go to the next village, you have to go the long way round. So it's no biggie. Uh, I was talking to somebody the other day about it, and they said, well, the issue is, upstream of where we live, we're next to the River Severn, this is uh, Gloucestershire, upstream of where we live, everybody is improving their flood defences. So it means that the floods that used to spread out take uh, a while to get down here and drain away slowly, now come hurtling down to us, over spill, and places that didn't used to flood are now starting to flood. You notice it in some of the old houses. Uh, the people that built the older properties knew what they were doing, and they built the houses above the floodplain. But that was the floodplain as it was then. Of course, now it's going up, and some of the older properties are getting inundated which is uh, a bit sad to say the very least. Anyway, while we're on the subject of uh, floods then, here's a strange phenomenon you can help me understand perhaps. Here's a picture of our local bridge over the Severn. And you can see all that debris piled up against the pier. There's another uh, shot of it. That, that shot includes three ducks, <laughs> honest. And then if you t I, I couldn't get a decent shot underneath the bridge, but if you look at these next couple of shots, you can see that the debris actually extends from the pier down and under the bridge. Now, how is that possible? The water's going down there at quite a rate. How is it possible that it's staying there and not getting swept away in the current, which is squeezed between the piers? Beats me. If there's any hydrologists out there, perhaps you'll, uh, you'll explain to us what's going on. My own view is there must be a, a large tree or something there, anchoring it down, I reckon. That must be it. So that will give way sooner or later, and then all the people downstream are going to love us, aren't they? Getting all that lot to come hurtling down. Well, anyway, that's the, uh, the local floods in the area. Now, last week then, uh, we went to Standish and had a look around at the junction between where the Great Western and the Midland Railway met each other to start their racing for Gloucester, or coming back the other way and parting of course. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Quite a few people like me had, uh, hadn't ever been to that junction and wondered what was there and wasn't there. Fortunately we managed to get uh, close to it and managed to get some film. Even managed to get the odd uh, train going through it which was uh, quite impressive. Although I spent most of the day <laughs> hanging about there. Oh never mind. Now, Next, uh, next week then, we're staying in the same general area. I was reading the, uh, the book, the uh, Gloucester to Bristol Railway, and it mentions quite a large viaduct. Now I've lived in and around this area pretty much all my life, and I didn't know of any impressive viaduct in the area, so uh, I wondered where, where it was and what it was all about. Then I read a little bit farther in the book and it said, ah, oh, recently it's been renovated or modified or something to that effect. And I thought, ah, oh, you know what we're like these days. We, uh, we take the simplest option, don't we? Whereas the Victorians had decorative bits and they took care and pride in what it looked like. Now we tend to go for cost. I suppose we, the general public, won't pay the price, so we wouldn't get ourselves to blame, perhaps. Uh, but we go for cost and we put simple structures up. So, I went out to have a look to see what we could find. We don't give up very easily, do we, normally? And had a look around and, yeah, it's quite an attractive area in the end, quite, uh, quite like the walk. Whether we find a viaduct or not, well, you've got to watch next week to see that. So, 
We'll be there next week. It's all road walking, no boots, although Tim will no doubt bring his virtual sandwiches. Gary Dwyer will no doubt bring his virtual wellies. <laughs> you can bring virtually whatever you like. And we'll meet you there next Friday then. Don't be late.